Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be doing a reading all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts or feelings about you? What's in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? For Cancer, for the sign of Cancer Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer in love? Okay, let's see what we get for you guys. Starting off with the Four of Pentacles reversed. Your energy is the Lovers reversed. Gemini energy with the Ten of Cups. Interesting. Page of Wands to Eight of Pentacles reversed. Their energy is Ace of Wands reversed. Six of Cups, and then the Two of Okay. Hmm. So there's some sort of uh, communication that's going to take place here um, between you and someone else. I'll put this on. Sorry about that. Between you and someone else. Um, I feel like this person um, is from your past here with the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the higher font, Taurus energy. Commitment, um, knowledge, morals, values, doing the right thing or, or wanting to do the right thing. Very traditional energy here with the higher font. So let's get some more information because this, from what I can tell right here uh, on the cards that I have, or the cards that I already have down here, if I could speak, um, this could go a lot of different directions. So let's get some clarity. Spirit, give me some clarity into this connection for Cancer. Give me some clarity, please, to this connection. Finances and career. Oops. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. What else? Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. Let me clarify a few things before I jump in here. Because, once again, I'm getting a lot of messages. Something is not working. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, um, either someone's not able to put in enough effort or energy into something, or... They're not working on what they should be. Something's not working here. I'm going to try to fall for cancer. And I want to know why. Let me clarify. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed? <laughs> okay, Six of Wands reverse. So yes, there's definitely uh, uh, no success here. Something's not working and I feel is on your person's side because they have the Ace of Wands reverse and then you have the Lovers reverse on your side. So it's almost like there's been a disconnect between you, possibly a separation. I have the Eight of Wands here with the page. So I feel like there's communication or some sort of um, back and forth energy, but there's something that's still not successful. Can I get one more, please? Cherry reverse, cancer energy. Yes, there's no move. Interesting. Um, yeah, and I have the tower at the bottom. Yes. So cancer, what I'm picking up, and there you are with the cherry reversed. Whoever this is in regards to, uh, things are not moving forward. Um, there could be communication coming in with the page of wands. We're going to clarify that in a second, but there's something that's not working out right now. It could be financial, it could be job related, or it could be the fact that, um, there is a, a, a whole new direction that needs to be taken here with the cherry reverse, because the path that you're on right now, it's not leading anywhere. It could be that someone jumped in here very quickly with the eight of wands, but it led to, uh, a dead stop or almost like um like a crash. Can I get one more for this chariot reverse? King of Wands. 
So I feel like someone wants to do something about this. Tell me more about this King of Wands. About the fact that they're stuck or not able to move forward here. Yeah, this could be um, financial. It could be um, something regarding a commitment. But be careful because I have the Seven of Swords at the bottom here. So it could be that there's something off or someone needs to be very strategic because of the situation they find themselves in. This could be you or your person. Why is the Page of Wands here? I feel like some, some of you are dealing with a situation that um, it's about money. Tell me about the Page of Wands. So I have finances and career up at the top. The star, Aquarius energy. Why is the Page of Wands here? Interesting. There could be some sort of communication about healing a situation. Six of Swords. Making a move here. Why is the Page of Wands? Death Reverse, Scorpio energy. Have the Death card. Nope, the Devil at the bottom of the deck. This The Death card is here, but the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, because what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing that someone doesn't want to make a certain change or someone doesn't want, um, there's so many messages. It could be that you are ready to move on past the situation or want to talk about moving on or moving forward. Um, you could be talk, wanting to talk to someone about a departure. Um, let's see what this is. And it could be because there was some sort of unhealthy situation here. Pay attention to the red flags. Why is the Six of Swords here? I knew I would need clarity. The minute I set down these cards, I was like, I'm not going to be able to say anything until I probably like clarify and clarify because there's something here that's, that, that's more complex than meets the eye. Justice reverse. Yeah, someone left a situation that wasn't fair to them. Libra energy wasn't fair, it wasn't working out. You could have figured something out with the moon reverse or something came to light. Pisces energy. A lot of major arcanas here. We have death, the star, the moon, and justice. So a major shifts here in energy. And you know, in the it's almost like this page of wands wants to talk about what happened, or there because of what happened, someone's ready for something new because this isn't this wasn't working out, whatever the situation is. This could be between you and this person, that there's something that's not working out between you, or it could be that either of you are dealing with someone else. And it's not working out very well. Um, I feel like there was some sort of departure here with the Six of Swords. One of you left this situation or are planning to leave it. Um, and it's because it wasn't fair to you. It wasn't balanced. And now you're ready for a new path. Because the path you're on here with the Chariot Reverse um, and the Six of Wands Reverse, this is literally, it is not working. There's no success here. No progression forward. No movement forward. Um, I feel like with the Eight of Wands here, it's almost like it was telling me that there's there's no movement forward, just communication or just research possibly here with the Eight of Wands because I'm thinking of the internet. And I feel like someone is focused on money, on how to make something happen, you know, what resources they have to make something happen, how they can um, work on something or, or improve their financial stability, whatever that may be. It's going to be different for all of you. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? I feel like this is how everything kind of like started. Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the... Oops. Hang on. Jack just kind of went everywhere. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? The lovers reverse again. There was some sort of disconnect or separation here, possibly a breakup, or someone has regretted a choice they've made with the lovers reverse and the seven of cups reverse. Why is the four of pentacles reverse? Get one more. And this I feel is related to you because you have the lovers reverse on your side, the magician reverse, yes. Something here wasn't able to, with the high priestess reverse, something came to light here. I have the moon reverse with the high priestess reverse. 
Like this is like secrets come to light. This is you finding something out or seeing something very clearly. You could have realized that someone was manipulating you or taking advantage of you or um, something about a breakup here. You Maybe you're realizing something about that. Let's see how you're feeling about each other. What are your energies towards each other? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available now. You can get to it by clicking on uh, the description box and looking at my list of Oracle decks there. If you're on mobile, just click on the arrow or the title of this video and the description box will appear. Tell me about these two and how they feel about each other. Now, Cancer, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other. The energy can be flipped, but it will not resonate with everyone. This reading will not be for every Cancer watching. So if this isn't your reading, don't try to make it fit, okay? Just check out my playlist for Cancer. There might be a video there for you. Tell me about Cancer's energy in this connection. What is the energy that Cancer is bringing to this connection, please? Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over past actions. Deep regret, okay. Can I get one more for Cancer's energy? Unexpected event. There's that tower card. Unexpected shocking events have shaken things up. And notice that the first keyword in this card is revelation. So something, a tower has occurred here. You probably caused a tower or you have regrets due to a tower. Like the tower maybe came and it's caused you to have regrets now over the past, over something that you've decided on. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies? Balancing act, juggling, and decision balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. Interesting. Can I get one more for this person's energies? Just got a weird message. Parting ways. Separation, divide, heartbreak. There is a disconnect between you. Yes. There's been a breakup here. So there's a separation here. If you're watching this and you are, are with the person you want to be with, this is probably not going to be your reading because there's a separation between you. And I feel like this person probably initiated it or is still hurt by the separation that has happened. Um, let's see. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about cancer. Tell me more. Tell me more about how they're thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer. I'm using my secret moon oracle deck here. It's all my fault. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So I was wondering, like, who caused this person had a big part to play in what happened between you? But I feel like you're mirroring each other because you have regrets as well. I want to fix this. Okay. Okay, so they want to repair what happened. So that's probably this star card here, wanting to heal what's going on. But with the balancing act, it's almost like they have a lot going on in their life, or perhaps they haven't decided how they're going to fix this. If they're serious about wanting to fix this situation, how are they gonna do it? I don't know if they know. Okay, so let's clarify your energies. Let me use this deck. Tell me no, tell me no. <laughs> Tell me more, Spirit, <laughs> about how Cancer and this person are feeling about each other. What are their energies towards each other, please? For Cancer. Interesting. In the near future, we have the Two of Swords reverse, a choice. So let's see. Why is the Lovers reverse? Let's see how you feel about each other. Why is the Lovers reverse? Move these over so I can see. So a tower happened happened here. Something unexpected, a breakup, a uh, separation. Tell me about the lovers reverse. And I think it was due to some sort of revelation. Yeah, there's the sun. Interesting. The sun and the ten of cups. There could be children involved here for some of you. Can I get the lovers reverse? Five of Cups Reverse. Five of Cups Reverse is regaining what you've lost, overcoming the past. 
I love this reverse. Eight of Cups. So perhaps some of you, um, I have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck here reversed. Some of you could have walked away from this person, moved on from this person. Maybe you have regrets about that or, you know, maybe you regret being with this person in the first place. I feel like a lot of you are moving on from the past towards your own happiness here. You want to be happy. You want to do well for yourself. You're thinking about your own happiness here. Okay, so why the Ten of Cups down here? Why is the Ten of Cups down here? Maybe you appear happy on the outside, but aren't really on the inside. Um, others of you, I feel like you're doing very well or are thinking about how happy you're going to be in the future here, like imagining a better future for yourself. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here? The Magician reverse. Okay, there's something off about this Ten of Cups. Um, you, I, I feel like there's um, someone in your midst that you cannot trust or you you probably trusted them and that was the wrong choice. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. This is what happened between you. I feel like you had a really good connection and someone, something happened to mess it up. Ace of Cups reverse. I mean, this is heartbreak, disappointment. Queen of Wands reverse is someone that... Um, is very angry, upset, or is not doing, uh, maybe they're not thinking about the consequences of their actions with the Magician Reverse. The Magician Reverse is a card about not being able to manifest, but it can also be a card about manipulative energy. So these two together with the Ace of Cups Reverse, it's almost like someone did something to another person to break their heart. And it probably affected a family or there's there's some situation here where maybe it, it looked better on the outside than it is on the inside because this kind of cups is throwing me off but in this sense sun as well um, I feel like a lot of you are kind of like walking away towards happiness here or wanting to anyway and it's like the past doesn't affect you anymore or you don't want the past to affect you why is the ace of wands reverse let's look at your person why is the Ace of Wands reversed? Okay, hold on. I'm not going to take that. That was sloppy. Spirit, why is the Ace of Wands reversed? Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Cups reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like your person, um, they're not, this is someone who, with the Ace of Wands reverse, this is someone that's not able to get a new beginning started. This is something that ends before it begins. This is someone that jumps into a new beginning without really thinking about it, and it kind of blows up in their face. Face of Wands reverse. I'm thinking also someone who had a lot of passion but not enough commitment behind it. So it's almost like they they desperately wanted something or were just or passionate or mo motivated by something, but it was over before it really began because there was no no actual steam behind that. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I am. Nine of Pentacles is a card about independence stability um this is someone that's very successful does well uh financially this is probably how someone's looking at you admiring you from afar or it could be that this person wanted to be single or act single knight of cups reverse this is someone that tells you exactly what you want to hear or perhaps is heartbroken and i feel like it's probably heartbreak because i think they're, they're seeing you do well and they're not they're stuck they're stuck i feel like they want to talk here but it's like I don't know maybe maybe you've blocked them or you're you're hard to read hard to deal with right now because you don't want excuse you sorry my dogs in the background because you don't want to have I don't know a fight a conflict or you don't want to have to deal with this person tell me more about this eight of wands reverse Why is the Eight of Wands reverse? Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this isn't working and there could even be someone else involved. 
Knight of Wands reverse. This person could have been unfaithful here or jumped into something without thinking. And I feel like you're just not, I don't know, it's like whatever situation they got themselves in, whatever is their fault, they know it and it's causing friction here. It's causing things to not really progress here. Like maybe there's not a lot of communication between you or maybe you've blocked this person. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups? If I could just shuffle, that'd be great. Why is this? Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person, there was something that they were probably hiding. Page of Swords. Um, or perhaps they want to be strategic. Let's see. Can I get one more, please? Six of Swords. Wow, look at all these swords. Two of Wands. I feel like now that you've left a situation, it's like they want to talk. You know, now that someone's leaving or moving on, they want to talk. If this is someone that wants to move on right behind you or wants to visit you, it's because they want to talk. So I'm seeing a few things here. But I, honestly, I think this is the fact that you have chosen a new path or you're ready to move on. It's like once you're ready to move on past someone, they want to fix this. Look at all these swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like the path has already been chosen. Why is the Two of Swords reverse? The Empress reverse. Why is the Two of Swords reverse? Ace of Wands reverse again. This is not something, uh, I don't know. It's almost like this decision is because something didn't work out. Tell me if this is resonating down below in the comments for you, Cancer. Ten of Pentacles, again with money, finances, and career. Interesting, the King of Pentacles, this could be somebody that you're married to, or this, this could be somebody married or with a family. This could be all about stability and money. Uh, this could be somebody that wants stability and money, and so this isn't good enough for them. I feel like this is, um, this is a choice based on stability and long-term success. Can I get one more for this Two of Swords Reverse? And I feel like this is your choice. Like this is in the near future so it's almost like in the near future someone's going to make a choice regarding their stability and i don't know it's like yeah ten of swords with the ace of pentacles at the bottom wow yeah this is someone that's having some sort of ending to have a new opportunity here look at this or after a difficult ending there's a new opportunity i feel like someone had to make a choice here a very difficult choice um, because they're thinking about long term, it, you know, what could, what, what is better for them in the long term. And I think this is you because you have a 10 of cups. Um, and it's interesting. I have 10 of cups, 10 of swords, 10 of pentacles. Um, you know, the, the tens are all about completion, the culmination of something, ending cycles to begin anew. We have the ace of pentacles twice that showed up here upright so it's almost like this is this is probably a lot, uh, having to do a lot with finances maybe um i don't know it's almost like maybe because of finances some of you were dealing with this person or are are thinking of finances now that you don't no longer are together um or perhaps you're thinking about being better off without someone because i feel like this person screwed up and now it's like they're trying to come back in wanting to fix this and i just don't pick up that you guys are ready for it i just don't see you guys really um i feel like uh, a lot of the cancers i'm talking to, to you were a higher font energy i feel like you were trying to do the right thing for so long that maybe you lost sight of why you were doing something in the first place very interesting. There's definitely a departure that is happening here. I'll have the Six of Swords. Um, 